Hey everybody, welcome to another Hidden Hole Fishing tutorial. I'm going to show you how to do four different knots today. We're going to do a clinch knot, which is like the most basic fishing knot uh, that you're going to use for just about anything you can think of. I'm going to show you a blood knot and a double uni knot, which is very similar knot, but a little different. I'm also going to show you an egg loop knot. We'll get a hook out for that and I'll show you how to do that. All right, for a blood knot, you're gonna take two pieces of line. The first line, you're just gonna wrap it around that second line about six, seven, eight times. And then I'm just gonna take this tag end and kind of put it right there. You can see that in between two lines, the line coming off here and then this little tag in. I'm just going to take it right down between the two. Actually, I'm going to pull this line through a little more so that I can wrap this around the same way we did just with that last one. Wrap it around about seven or eight times. One, two, Again, same thing, right there where that other tag end is coming in, you're gonna wanna put this line right through there. So you can see that. So you've got the two tag ends coming out here. It's hard to see, but those both those tag ends are in there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pull all of that together. There we go. As you can see, we've got both lines there. You get the two tag ends coming off as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut those off. And there you have got a blood knot. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to do a double uni knot. Um, very similar, kind of same deal, gonna connect two lines together. Uh, pretty simple to do. So for the double uni, you're just gonna take one line, kind of loop it like that, up over this other line. Just get that little tag end down there. When you have that little tag end, you're just gonna loop it through here about six times. And you just go ahead and pull that tight. The other side here, you do the exact same thing. You just kind of loop this line, just like we did with the last one. You can pull a little bit more through if you need. And you just kind of loop it. And you just cinch that up same as you did the other one and then you pull the two lines apart from each other and then bam you cinch right up there and you get that nice little knot and you just got to clip these tag ends off and there you have it that's a double uni knot all right now I'm gonna show you how to do a uh, clinch knot one of the simplest knots, one of the most basic knots you should know for fishing. A lot of you probably already know it, but just in case you don't, I'm going to show you here. Alright, so you just pop that right through there. Make it so that it's kind of like through there like that, right? And then it's easy. You just twist it about eight, nine, ten times. And then you just bring this tag end right here through the little loop, not the eyelet, but the little loop in the line that the uh, that's connected to the eyelet, and you just pull that down through, pull both ends, and cinch that knot together. Use your fingernail if you want, and you just pull this little tag end off. And there you go, you got clinch knot. 
Okay, now this last knot that I'm gonna show you is uh, an essential if you're fishing for salmon and uh, using, uh, you know, eggs. It's an egg loop knot. And it's a little bit more difficult, but once you get the hang of it, it's really easy. You tie a million of them and fingers will get sore tying them, trust me. So first thing you wanna do is take this line Get it right through the eyelet there from the top down to the bottom and leave about an inch of tag end off of the shank there. Then I wrap this around the shank like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve times. And I wouldn't typically use braided line for this, though there are some applications where you might. Um, I would probably use a fluorocarbon or a monofilament. Then what you want to do, you'll take the other end of the line and get it right there through the through the eyelet from the bottom, right? And then just leave. And you're still kind of holding with your finger uh, where you had that those 12 wraps earlier. You want to kind of leave your finger on that because that's gonna hold it all in place while you do this other step and this could be just a little bit more difficult to see but I'm gonna try and show you so you've got it looped like that all right and you take it from the bottom there of that loop and you wrap it around another six times all right now once you got that about six times you're gonna just hold that all together uh, with your fingers there, hold that little loop through there. With your thumb and your forefinger, you're still holding uh, the 12 wraps from earlier. And then you're just gonna pull both ends of this line through and pull it real tight. There you go. And you've got this little tag end that I'm gonna just clip off. And what you've got now is you've got just a basic snell but with an extra little thing that you can push out the back here and loop around your eggs when you put them on the hook. And it cinches right up on those eggs. And it's still a good little tight knot to keep your hook on there. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I hope to make many more. Um, hopefully it was informative and you guys uh, Maybe we'll tie a couple knots you didn't know how to tie before. So they certainly come in handy. And if you do like it, or you know anybody that can use it, go ahead and share it out there. Like it, subscribe to the channel, and I appreciate you watching. Thanks, and have a great one.